Hi everyone, how are you? My name is Odinari, and welcome back to Student Union. Last episode, uh, we just getting to know each other with the other student, <laughs> uh, with the other main character. And the story is just ordinary as usual. Uh, I can't wait for this spooky part to come. I don't know. <laughs> I wonder what will happen with this uh, ordinary story. Yeah, I keep saying ordinary, uh, but on purpose. <laughs> uh, uh, I guess uh, we'll discover it together. Also, it's still uh, not late to support this game. Uh, there is still a couple days left to uh, to back up this to back this game. So uh, I'm I'm gonna link the the Kickstarter in the description as well. So you can support and check the game by yourself. Okay, so without further ado, let's continue our journey. So uh, this is where we uh, we stop last episode. Normally, I like the the late class of the day, but not this time. What? <laughs> A slight shove from behind catch me off guard. I turn quickly. Oh, oh, it's the teacher. A professionally dressed woman blushes. I recognize her since she's been a fixture of the school for a, for as long as I can remember. Oh wait, she's the principal decker. Oh, the principal is a woman. I see. Sumimasu. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. Excuse me, it's been uh, it's a bit crowded in here between classes. Oh, what is doing? Is, is he gonna give me a five check? <laughs> she smiles warmly and does my upper back. My face flushes, and I watch the crowds flowing past us both. It's really okay, no problem. She was through student with more care, and those that recognize her make a pet. Oh, she's lovely. I finish walking through the door to my last class. Triple dot. Study hall bothers me. I sign up for this period. That much is true. However, I doubt anyone here appreciate the situation. No te textbook to study yet, no assignment to complete, no talking, a sign sitting. Coach Jin idols on his cell phone. Such a responsible student, uh, teacher. <laughs> One clever student brought their own book to read. A few others draw in notebooks. Must be Konosuba like novel volume 4. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> After a tap on my shoulder and a subtle exchange, a note reaches my desk. Ooh, a prank. Pull the fire alarm, yes or no? It seems like eight people already want to say yes. I tally marks under yes and three under no. Oh, <laughs> I didn't expect that. I thought uh, I'm gonna get a choice. I crumpled it into my pocket to end the game. I'm feeling worn out. Maybe I'll nap. Oh yeah, sue me. <laughs> Between the fire alarm and the bell, I'll be cover co covered for alarm clocks. Well, uh, if there's nothing to do, better save up that energy, I guess. <laughs> I lay my head to rest on my forearms and close my eyes. Triple dot. Ooh. My head hurts. Did someone stab you from the back? <laughs> Edge. I roll my palm over the back of my head. 
finger slipping through my hair to my scalp. The texture of... Oh wait... What is this music? This is spooky. <laughs> the texture of little bumps cling to my hair around the sensitive area. Soft clumps collect beneath my fingernails. What? Sitting up through the burst of dizziness, I hold one side of the desk for balance and pull my hand in front of me. Oh. Radi residue of dried blood, st blood stains my palm. Somebody actually stabbed my head. Such an asshole, man. <laughs> I'm just sleeping. I don't think I'm bleeding anymore. Kind of hard to focus. I check my phone, phone's clock. After pressing past the low battery not notification, I see that it's almost 8:30 p.m. Ooh. Okay, so that means I literally uh, stop at the spooky part. <laughs> this is poetic. My sore back and throbbing head convince me not to stop and brood. I struggle into the empty hall. It's step with increased equilib equilibrium. Okay, uh, uh, the the voice stuck in my tongue. <laughs> equilibrium. Yeah, I did it. <laughs> so it's dark. I'm able to find the the entrance via the faint light of my phone, and from the hall windows. Better save those, uh, bad battery, man. You know, you know what, uh, if you gonna you need that letter. <laughs> the front door doesn't give way. Calm, I try again. It dawns on me that I'm locked in this school. In the school, I mean. <laughs> I survey the door. Hall and nearby windows. No luck in finding the an easy exit. Ooh. What is going on in here? <laughs> Just when I'm about to call Mr. Underwood, my phone dies. See? Better save up that battery, man. Great. Camping here isn't going to kill me, but I rather not. I carefully move down the hall to investigate the first floor. Anyone here? Dareka. <laughs> My voice echoes. Many of the classrooms are locked, and those that aren't hold no sign of life. Oh. What's that? <laughs> As I near a complete pass of the first floor, I hear a single thud from the ceiling. Ceiling? Ceiling gang? No! Get away ceiling gang! <laughs> I step closer to the main stairwell, which is poorly, li poorly lit. Hello? Oh, oh, my fingers start shaking. <laughs> uh. A louder thought replies, Shilling gang, stop it! <laughs> I'm spooked! <laughs> Triple dot? Oh, still dizzy. Oh, be careful on the st stairs, man. Cautiously, uh, I move up the stairs, using both hands for support. There is terrible lightning here. I can see a thing. I get to the end of the railing at top of the flight and move to my hands. 
and knees for better support. Yeah, be better mind your steps, man. I'm crawling up the stairs while hugging the wall. Better safe than sorry. Where you go? Ooh. The boom of door slamming caused me a, f a flinch. I hesitated but continue upward. Where's the freaking ceiling gang? <laughs> Words catch in my dry throat. My hand touched something in the darkness. Something warm and wet. Like the inside of a mouth. Pulling back quickly, my knees get down one stairs, stair below. <laughs> I stop and listen. Triple dot. I wipe my damn hand on my jeans and continue moving up. Taking great care to avoid that area. From the top of the stairs, the halls is illuminated by a lit open classroom. Suddenly, I move to my feet and slide to the door. Hopefully, there's no like screamer jump scare, uh, if like shoving to my face. I'm not really good at that. <laughs> I peer inside to see white eyes staring back at me. Oh my! Oh, Miss Webb! Well, uh, I appreciate there is no loud noises. <laughs> it's just a uh, gorgeous lady. I cover my heart and jump at the same time she sees me. Her fright flips to irritation. You, what are you doing here? N nothing. Hmm. <laughs> what has Turner got you doing now? No, I'm trying to go home. D the door's locked. Why are you here? Stop hopping around like a rabbit, please. <laughs> she closed the distance between us. I... Fell asleep. Relatable. I couldn't stop it from sounding like an excuse. She glanced at the clock. Budget. <laughs> really? You nap over a six hours, huh? Uh, I'm sorry. I was embarrassed. I bumped my head at gym today and feel, felt sleepy during study hall. Ah. Oh. Let me see. Gee. <laughs> she inspects my head with her finger and winch. Her expression softens. Oh. Are you all, all right? Are you all right? I heard a lot noise up here. Are you chilling, gang? I was unpacking and setting up materials for tomorrow's class. There are several cardboard boxes behind her in the classroom, one of which is empty. Paper, pencils, pastels, markers, newspapers, sketchbooks, and other supplies are sp split out on the floor. I heard the door. Look, let's get you sorted and call your parents. Answer my question, Miss Webb. What's with the door? <laughs> she oppresses me. Oh, <laughs> you haven't got blood on your pants. Why didn't you tell someone? Why nobody uh, like woke me up or check me if I'm dead? If I sleep that long? That kind of mini. Is everybody had 
Hedgeland. That's why uh, Mr. Underwood just uh, suddenly after uh, after uh, before saying the uh, the classmates before maybe look at my time. I confirm it myself and turn towards stairwell. What's your name? Len. My phone died. I didn't. What's what's their number? <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Why she looks like upset every time? Is, is it your default face, Miss Webb? I look back back at her. Who's? Oh, I don't remember. Very relatable. I don't. I don't, also don't remember my parents' number. <laughs> okay, I look it up. Come on then. She takes me by the the wrist and leads me to the administrative side. We enter an office door labeled Principal Decker. She motions to the couch after flicking the light. Don't sit down. I obey. The office is plain, but the couch looks expensive. Notebooks and manila folders lean off the desk in a precarious stack. Last name? Fox. That's your last name, really? <laughs> That's an uh, interesting last name. <laughs> she furrows her brow and moves from one filling cabinet to another. Miss Webb? Yes. Did you buy those art supplies? As it turns to me, her butt bumps the paper stack. Sending its content laughing to the floor. Oh fuck me. <laughs> I'm sorry Susan, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Damn. Well uh the teacher sounds carefully enough. She goes to her knees to collect the mess and I help her. Yes, I did. Why? Otherwise, we wouldn't have any. I'll clean this. You can keep looking for my file. She moves a strand of hair behind her ear and eyes me. Then she follows my suggestion. After a few quiet minutes, I sorted the pages into two separate stacks on the desk. I open the desk drawer and pull out an, a half empty bottle of wine. Valley of Lenti. Fine yards. Ah, good choice. Still prefer vodka. Sorry. <laughs> uh. Don't touch her personal items. Miss Webb snatches it from me and sets the bottle back in the desk before closing closing it definitively. Comment? Uh, Comment? <laughs> I'm sorry. I cannot help myself. Oh. Schools start to become more and more suspicious. Miss Webb huffs. Also, do you not actually attend this school? Your record is missing. Oh, Mr. Andrew might still have my file. Ugh, what's your address? My record is probably in his office. You can just go check, right? No, it will be rude to in 
truth when he's not wrong. How about me? Uh, principal office r- room when she's not around. I look around the room. Uh, I look around at the room. I mean, <laughs> oh, she's aware and she's blushing, and she's not angry anymore. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> she recognized the inconsistency too. I'll just drive you home. Come on. Wait, you're gonna come back to finish unpacking? I haven't decided. Come on. With, imp- in- with impatience, she moves out the office, turning the lights off on me before I follow. I don't know, it's still like... Uh, I-, I guess actor T. He said before, it's not really that nice. I can still take a taxi or maybe a train if I use train. Even a bus. I don't know. <laughs> this kind of weird. Uh, it uh, it feels uh, it sounds like a, uh, it's been like past midnight or something. Oh well. <laughs> Why don't I help you? We can go twice as fast. Maybe she's hiding something, Lynn. Oh yeah, I guess. Uh, my head was bleeding. That's why. <laughs> I, I gonna just go with uh transportation. Maybe go to the hospital first to check. You realize you've been pro- probably have had a concussion, don't you? I feel a lot better after the nap. Maybe because your nerves uh. Is broken and you don't feel the pain. <laughs> she keeps hoping. That's kind of cute. <laughs> she spins on her heel to address me. You are going home, young man. Sean. <laughs> okay. All right. Yes, ma'am. Please wait here. Excuse me. Please wait here. She collects her purse from the art room, leaving me alone in the in, in the dim hall. My head is still throbbing, so foregoing helping me, helping her unpack is probably for the best. I place my hands in my pocket and realize the one which held those two notes is now empty. My schedule is gone, and so is the fire alarm not. Strange. Oh, that's really strange. We'll use the emergency exit stairs to get to the parking lot faster. Miss Webb moves ahead of me and in the opposite direction of the pitch black stairwell. I follow. When we set off the fire alarm, we should, but it's broken. Strange detail. That's probably against some regulation, right? You should put it on your to-do list for your club. We walk from the exit stairs through the parking lot and then step into her car. Oh, this picture <laughs> that I used for my thumbnail last episode. I tell her my address and we start the drive. After a couple of mi- minutes of silence, I break the ice. Sorry for the trouble. She glanced and at me on face. How did you fall? I don't remember exactly. I look out the passenger side window. 
do you remember? Not exactly. Triple dot. If you're being bullied, I need to know. Oh, probably because that uh, that uh, boy who pushed me down. It's not that, Hannes. Well, a bump on the on the head gives you a pass. Please be more careful. Thanks for your concern, Miss Miss Webb. The ride is quite a good. I'm not sure for how long. My mind my mind wanders. Another triple dot. <laughs> your project with Turner. Mr. Underwood. Was it your idea or his? Curious? I think both. As what I could do to help for a part-time job. And he recommended it. So it was your decision. It's something you want to do? I hesitate. Definitely, yeah. Do you want to join? She laughed lo lowly. <laughs> Just like Monica. Wait, green eyes with brown hair? Huh. Interesting. <laughs> I'm not a student anymore. I had my feel of groups in college. Maybe we can help you. For a start, I can come in early tomorrow and help you finish unpacking. You are dead set on it, huh? Maybe you should check to the doctor first, Len. Her focus returns to the road. Another silence. If you mean it, I'll be uh, I'll be in that classroom around seven. There no pressure, though. It it will take us no more than thirty minutes. Thanks. You want my number? Oh <laughs> Huh, are you always so bold or just with the a head injury? <laughs> okay, that's funny. <laughs> oh, he's blushing. I felt my cheek flush. No, but thank you. You can call the school and ask for me if you need to. I nod. Is that it? We arrive at my place. Miss Webb pulls the car closer to the parking area. Parking area, I mean. Oh wait, I just realized. Uh, at the first scene, we uh, we wanders in the dark at the very beginning, and we met with Miss Webb. And now, uh, it happened again. Oh, something's uh, weird with Miss Webb. She's hiding something, I believe. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> well, I'll keep that in mind. Yeah. That's one on the left. Thank you for the ride. There are no car parks, uh, cars parked next to the building. And all the lights are off. Miss Webb looks at like she's about to ask me something. But seems to change her mind. No problem. Do you have a key to get in? Oh, it's the cheap apartment. Yeah, I'm good. All right. See you at school. Mataista. Miss Webb waits for me to go inside before driving away. Oh! Meow! Is that cat? I greeted by a passionate meow. 
I know, I know. You're you're the one who wouldn't go out this morning. After flipping the light switch, I take the chicken strip from my pocket and place it into Jester's football. Jester, will you show the cat? Please show me the cat picture. <laughs> Mel. With that occupying him, I walk through the hall to my room and settle in front of in for the night. Not even a dinner, really. You'll get hungry at midnight, young man. <laughs> oh, nice room. Nice poster. A cold glass of water, a healthy dose of Aceta Minoven? What is that? Okay, hold on. Uh, I want to check. What is uh, what is that drugs do? Okay, BRB. Okay, I'm back. Uh, it turns out acetaminophen is just paracetamol for pain and cold. I just don't know. Uh, it has other names. <laughs> oh my, I'm so dumb, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, I guess let's continue. There's a little scratch on my head that I can trace with my fingertips, but it doesn't hurt. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't scare me like that. Scap over, probably. I sit on my back uh, on my bed and pick up my charging phone. I am already winning, winky face. Alice, is that you? Who gave you my number? Information asymmetry is too fun to ruin. Truth, let me be the president. I need what? Typo, <laughs> relatable. Not happening, but feel free to concede gracefully. Oh, yeah, it's her. God damn it, Alice, the sly, sly girl. <laughs> Add the number to my contacts as Alice and stare at my phone for a few seconds. After putting it beside my pillow, I turn off my bedside lamp. I mean, Alice is kinda jerk, but I like her smokes, it's cute. Oh, cold transition. <laughs> Break and early, as promised. At least on my on my end. Someone other than Miss Web show up shows up, and not to my surprise, stops to unlock the door. Rosaline, no, it's you. Rosaline shoves the door against the wall with a slap. What are you doing? Going in. You coming? I follow her inside, closing the door behind us. Oh, <laughs> she feel uncomfortable. Leave it open, man. After muttering an apology, I open it. Okay, so really. What are you doing? I owe Sam a favor. Are you good? She leans on the door frame and gives the room a look. Who is Sam? Your teacher. You mean Miss Webb? I appraise her. My eyes moving over her body. She's Stevens. 
Don't strip her with your eyes, Lynn. That's rude. <laughs> I highly doubt her idea of you helping was to open the door for me this morning. Why don't we get started? It'll be quick. Come on, Ross. I could use the company. Psst, fine. What did I do? I'm not sure what to do either, so I improvise. See those, see those boxes? You can divide out the supplies. And I'll set up the, uh, an easel per workstation here. Bossy, aren't ya? <laughs> well, you did ask. Excuse me. <laughs> see, <laughs> let's get it. You literally just asked me what to do, you know? So let's get uh, let's get to it. Her fingers stress the edge of Miss Webb's desk as she moves to the box I indicated. Sure. This is for Sam, not you. So then do, don't get weird ideas. <laughs> well not me. But you do, Ross. I smile. We set up the room for classes to come, and to my surprise, Ross pull, pulls her weight. Triple dot? Why are you up so early? She ignores me. Where's Miss Webb anyway? She's just busy. Oh! We continue. Once the cardboard boxes uh, have been clean, clean out, I begin ripping one of the one in half to tear. Tear it. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay, I'll repeat it. I begin ripping one in half to tear it into compact strips. Hey, quit it, dumbass! Bakayaro. <laughs> Ross kicks me, causing me to stumble and turn abruptly. Ow! What the hell? She snatch, snatch the torn box for me. Don't you think she'll want to reuse this or recycle them for something? To hide some dead bodies? <laughs> oh, you're right. Sorry. With a huff, she pushes, pushes her bo the box behind Miss Web desk. So, that's it? I think so, yeah. We got some time before class. Uh, and <laughs> I step a little closer. Why are you blasting? Stop being horny! <laughs> Yesterday, what are you asking even to do? Oh, kids mark. Heh, that weasel. I used to get him to do my math. Now he's too scared. Oh, bully. You wanted him to do your homework? Just a math. It's not like I need to solve the S in real life. What the hell is X? <laughs> Read Hinamatsu, everyone. We are well past solving for X, but I decided against letting her know. Are you bad at it? It's not that. I don't do it because it's pointless. Why don't you even care, man? Come on, man. How about I help you with it? I'm not a weasel. Oh, <laughs> she likes it. <laughs> sure, I won't stop you, but not for free. What did you pay, even? She scoffs. Nothing. Okay, five five bucks for this assignment. 
You're kidding. That's more than fair. Just do one a week if you don't like it. She glares into the hall. I'll think about it. She starts starts out, but I move in front of her. Nani. <laughs> Give me your number. <laughs> oh, yeah. Roskip being horny. I get it. <laughs> I don't think I'm your type. How else are you get, gonna give me the assignment? Unless you rather have my address. Oh yeah, it's fine. I guess. She recites her number as I add it to my phone. I grin. Great. Thanks. Sure. <laughs> oh, she's cute. Every everyone's cute here. She pushes past me, and I I'm left in the room alone. I leave my phone. Hey, did you give my number to Alice? No, Holly might might have. Holly has numbered my number too. She asked for it yesterday. She didn't text you. My fingers brush the rough texture of my jeans as I slide my phone away. My eyes lingers on my tie. I'll just go to my first class a bit early. It's still quiet, but I'm sure students will begin feeling it stop shortly. Excuse me? Just like this morning when I came up, the stairwell remains pristine. Pristine, I mean. I touch my head. It feels better. The scrap might actually be smaller today. It probably just look more dramatic than it uh, it actually was at the time. You know what? It will be funny if uh, if the ending the land dies because he got concussion, but he refused to go to the doctor <laughs> until it's too late. <laughs> It's gonna be funny. <laughs> well, the test is if you uh, watch this, uh, you're welcome for the ending. <laughs> it probably just look more dramatic than. Oh yeah, I I read really, really that. I'm sorry. As I move out from the stairwell and in into the hall. I spot Kane standing outside of my next classroom. He's leaning near the door and lo looking at crumpled piece of paper in my hand. In his hand, I mean. I search for an exit to avoid him, but he looks up and waves at me over. I don't sprint away, away is an option, so I approach. Cute angry face. Yeah? How are you doing? Triple dot. He holds out his hand, the paper in my schedule from yesterday. Did you take this from me? He stands straight and places it in my hand. Found it. Figured uh, he'll give it back to the owner. I mean, figure I give it back to my owner. To, to it owner. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, thanks. My sincerity isn't lost on him. I wanna talk anyway. L listen, I really didn't, didn't mean anything yesterday. I don't give a damn, honestly. He steps closer. 
sorry for the little shock. No hard feelings, right? I mean, I kind of get it. Uh, I feel like Ken is hundred person, even though he's a brute. He looks like a hundred person, you know, like just go with his instinct. That's why he got upset. But I guess, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I I haven't go that far, but I can feel, I can sense that. Ken is a uh, honest and good guy. Maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. <laughs> but we'll see. It's, it's interesting though uh, in the uh, story writing stuff. The writers, uh, I like the way the writers go to explain the uh, the personality and the background of the character by just showing how they act, how how they. Uh, interact with the others instead of just telling uh, telling the others uh, telling the readers how's the background of the character I mean like uh, I can uh, I, I can sense that uh, Ken is a honest person just by how he interacts with people maybe I'm wrong but uh, it's better than uh the uh, you just got the narration to explain who Kane is. It's a really good writing. I love it. Well, uh, I'm actually expressed in some story writing before. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Right. He ruffles my hair firmly. Irritating my scalp. I step back. Good. Since we are resolving things between us, there is no need to bring up with anyone else. Do you agree? Yeah. Is that it? Oh, or maybe he has some kind of secret. I don't know. But I already forgive Kane for that. A flash of irritation moves over his face. He looked past me. Almost. I heard you and Alice are starting a group. I'm not interested in Alice, if that's what you are getting at. He laughs. It's genuine. I mean, <laughs> yeah. When you say that, I mean, I can already see that Ken already moves moves on. She's not interested in you. No, what? Why are you doing it? I'm helping the school. Bullshit! What did you get? What do you get? Oh. <laughs> Well, oh, it's a choice. You know, uh, I kind of want to save now, but uh, by reading this, I already decide what I'm going to say. Well, let's just be honest. It's the money. <laughs> well, I mean, it's the first motivation Len wants to start the group. And I feel like there is uh, there is no what what how do you say it like uh, there is no use to lie to him. Well, he doesn't have to know. He he will know eventually. It's the money. Well, it's a paid position. Not much, but but something. Huh. Okay. Then why does he rubs his legs and glances over his shoulder? For a moment, it seems like he's going to ask me something else, but he shrugs. Forget it. Forget about it. <laughs> 
Tucking his hands into broad pockets, he leaves me to ling- linger in the hall alone. I'm thankful. I rotate my schedule from one side to the other. My name isn't on it. My pocket vibrates, so I swap the paper into uh, with my phone. Check your locker. Okay, I get goosebumps. <laughs> Wait, uh, is it Alice? No, it's not Alice. Uh, I already changed the the unknown number name to Alice. So who is it? Why everybody has got my number? Did I get uh did I get hacked by some Indian hacker somewhere? <laughs> oh hey. Oh, holy right? That doesn't sound like holy's typing. No, it's not holy, man. No, it's not holy. What what are what are you saying? She's gonna role play the text with bunch of cat emojis and cow images. No, it's not holy, man. <laughs> You're not taking strike, lane. No response. I do have a little more time before class. I can humor her, I guess. I'm going to have to cha- charge my phone more often at this rate. I approach my locker. Maybe I'll regain that middle school popularity I enjoy after a while. Middle school popularity? What are you, what are you talking about? Even strike. I'm sorry. Even strike about it being a weird start to the year, but it'll even out. My head numbs instantly. Oh my God! What is that? Is that holy hands? Oh, 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 oh my god, I got goosebumps. Oh my god. That, that came out out of nowhere. I slapped my hand over my mouth. A severed human hands lies in my po- in my locker. Beneath the dreads burst. A deep red pool has collected. Oh, I kinda feel bad with someone's in under the locker. It's not his fault, man. Oh, that's really realistic hand with bones. So, it's probably used like blood object to rip them off. That's fucked up, man. I can't even scream. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's you, Len. Don't scare me, Len. I know you're scared, but I'm, I'm also scared. It's like 3 a.m. here. And I'm alone. Coach is already sleeping. Also, I do want to wake, wake her up. After I recall, my back hits against the opposite lockers. Wet streaks now draw down the sides of the open locker. A little hand is familiar. The same little hand I saw clenching a luxury tray. Uh, a lunch tray yesterday. I can't. Why? Why is this? This is literally came out, out of nowhere. They 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 build up the in suspense and it's came out, out of nowhere. I look around desperately and spot a silhouette turn the corner of the hall. Scrambling to my feet, I put my track and feel training to full use. I sprint with all my mic. I turn the corner and see. Holy. And Alice.
fuck you. Really? <laughs> Are you serious? Is that a prank? Stop your fuck, at least I actually scared. You fell for it. Oh my goodness, your face. Do you need to go home and change? Thanks for ruining the uh, the locker beneath me, asshole. <laughs> why why are you joining in this prank? Holy bonzes and brandy spot of her healthy hands. Hehe, <laughs> I'm okay. See, you cute cat. My terrors become relief, but only for a second. Then I am sitting. Holy and holy's enthusiasm fades as my fury registers. Heh, that's right. We strike terror into our enemies. <laughs> Shut up, Alice. This smug woman. I approach quickly, teeth clench. Alice looks at Holly. This is but a test of the trails a mere mortal must endure to challenge the gods. Right, Hall. Oh! Damn. Len has had enough. I slap her face so hard she stumbles sideways. Her glasses bounce across the floor. Equality. Thanks, Kasuba. Len? What the hell are you thinking? Ellie's eyes wells with tears. Well, pick your glasses, woman. She hesitates a moment before running away. Oh, is this gonna be like actual serial murders? My vision blurs before I know what's happening. My, bo my body bouncing against the lockers. I press against classroom door and handle digging into my back. Ken is holding me, me in place, glaring into my eyes. Oh, so she still has a veil there. You piece of filth. How dare you? Shut up, Sim! Prank's a prank! It's a quality, man! He, his fist slams into my face, my hand knocking against the door with a crack. Holly screams and pulls at Kane's elbow. Stop! Stop it! We're just joking, please! The commission has brought, brought other students over, and Coach Jin shoved through them to stop us. Finally do some work, Jin. Kane punched me again and I hear a glass behind me shatter. My memory ends. Oh, this is getting serious. Oh! Union. Well, at least you go to the hospital to check your body now. <laughs> oh, that's... That, that really came out of nowhere. Well, honestly, it's really a uh, gruesome art, but if it was a prank, is, is it like a real hand or a fake hand? If it's fake, it's really well made. I mean, you got me there. <laughs> but things get escalated. I get it. That prank is not funny, I mean, like... It's... 
it's it's kinda messed up. What if it's actually a real hand? Oh well, I guess uh, we'll find out. I'm in a white room, in a white bed, with an ugly blanket. Everything looks clean at a, a glance. But a closer look reveals a thin layer of cream or, and dust. Oh, consciousness returns to my to me hastily. It's a slow process, but I feel myself getting more lucid while staring at a little cracks in the wall. This is a hospital room. Why? Oh, I remember. Damn it all. So. <laughs> Oh, interrupting my thoughts, there's a little knock on the door. I don't bother responding. Miss Webb enters. Okay, uh, I almost want to make the Skyrim joke, but I think it's not the best time. I'll do that later, but not this time, okay? <laughs> okay. Oh, you're awake. How are you feeling? What happened? Oh, I got the blue eyes. I mean the black eyes. That's terrible. You got in a fight after you st struck a female student. Holly gave Mr. Jin the, the details. How about the prank? Who volunteered them to her, I guess? She maintains her cross arms. The student who knocks knock you up was suspended a couple days. It wasn't yet decided what to do about you and the girl. Alice. Yes. Mr. Andor convinced Principal Decker that he be responsible for your punishment. Oh, such a good guy. I'm sorry, Mr. Underwood. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so who knows if you should feel lucky or not? No, I'm not. I don't feel lucky. Even though uh, Koichi is lucky, cat, I'm not feel lucky. I'm sorry. <laughs> How did I get here? Well, Mr. Jin hauled you to the principal office. Your parents would, wouldn't pick up the phone and you wouldn't wake up. Oh yeah, I guess I live alone. Maybe my parents are dead. Uh, he called an ambulance, then he was going to but I said I take her I take you to the ER. Here we are. Oh so this is not a hospital. None of your emergency contact numbers will pick up the phone, so I've been stuck here. Oh there is something mysterious about Len as well. Maybe he's lying about his family. Maybe he's actually live alone. Maybe it's not a student. I look at the clock. It's a little after 10 in the morning. Sorry. My weak apology irritates her. That's kinda too much, I mean. I could have called the cops instead. I mean, there's no point of argument in here. Even though it's, I uh, technically it's not my fault. Like it's equality, <laughs> but there's no point arguing. So I guess, yeah, I'm sorry. 
Sorry Ugh, can you explain why no one will pick up the phone? I don't know Triple dot Miss Webb sits next to the bed She tosses my phone on my lap You have one more emergency contact now Powering it on, I see that Samantha A new contact has sent me the message, message Test. I thought that was inappropriate. Your parents not responding is inappropriate. Thank you. Am I free to go? Eager. The doctor said you'll be fine with some rest. But you need to come back in a couple weeks to get the stitches up. Stitches? That's that's kind of dangerous, especially in this head. I turn off my phone and look up. I start drop at my freshly treated wound, but she wags my hand down. You also need to sign the bill and turn in the f at the front desk. I don't have insurance. That's why they have payment plans. Cancel pay, not me. You can hire a. Attorney to press charts and try that. Want my advice? <laughs> That's really rude, Miss Webb. That's really rude because uh, you'll pay more for an attorney to get get paid the hospital. <laughs> Sounds like. Sounds like she's going to give it either way. Kane instead won't pay it for it. You end up spending more trying to collect. I leave up the shit and start to stand, but Miss Webb place her hand on my knee. Stop. I'll bring the paper rock to you. I obey at first. My cell buzzes. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Underwood. Did I disappoint you? We need to talk. I flip through my text history with Alice and type, I'm really sorry. I lose my temper. After starting at the draft message for a while, I decided to delete it. I mean, if, if you want to say sorry, you should say it face to face. Typing is uh, it's not a good way to do. Oh, thing escalated really quickly. I thought the suspense down when I know it's just a prank, but it's escalated again to this point. I can't believe I did that. What's wrong with me? I mean, that's that's messed up. That's a good prop as well. <laughs> I was so on edge. I need to talk to her. Yeah, that's the right choice, Len. I'm standing by the window and ready to leave by the time Miss Webb returns. Clearly disapproving on me being out of bed, she provides clipboard wordlessly. The paperwork corns my stomach, now sitting. An x-ray, stitches, doctor's fee, administration fee, a total of nearly $3,000? Really? 
It says the office will call and mail me in a couple business days to set up a payment plan. That's really expensive. I sign it. Can I ride back to school with you? She looks shocked. What? You don't have to. I can take you home again. I want to go back. For what? Turner can wait. It's not that. I just need to. Please. It's for Alice. Maybe. She sigh. Ah, <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, don't make me regret it by being even more trouble. I'm ashamed, and don't look her in the eyes. I won't. She leads me out of the facility. Oh, different sprite. But the atmosphere is heavy now. It's not long before I'm in passenger seat on her car again. You're gonna owe me gas money at this rate. Hey, I mean you're gonna go back to school as uh, again. My teeth clench while I sit quietly. She looks me over. And also don't joke, uh, don't joke about that. I mean, I, I literally just get three thousand dollars bill. <laughs> that was a joke. It could have been worse, you know. Did, did Rosalind and I do okay on the setup? What? The art supplies in your room. Wow, Rose actually helped. I had a small smile. Well, better counting your blessing, young man. <laughs> she knew more than I did. I haven't had time to check for some reason, but I appreciate your help. Oh, I'm sorry. Turn down the sarcasm, please. The ride becomes quiet. And soon, we reach the school. Chalk Cherry High School, that's a weird name. <laughs> I follow Miss Webb indoors while looking at my phone. It's the period just before lunch. She faces me. Put that away and go to class then. Go on. I nod and pocket my phone. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Actually, I'm gonna drink. So, uh, you better stay hydrated. Well, you can pause anytime and uh, prepare your snacks. Uh, I mean like refill your snacks or drinks. Yeah. With a little wave, she moves off, presumably to her own classroom. After she turns the corner, I grab my phone again and walk, N not in the direction of my current class. You're in bed, right? Yeah, so can't take much. What the hell happened? I need a favor. Okay, what? Pass Alice a note to meet you in the gym. Right now. Why? Just do it. Triple dot. 
minutes pass. The wall just inside the gym entrance supports me as I stand waiting. Soon I hear a familiar voice approaching. What's with the strategic bathroom breaks? I just come in here. In the gym, oh my, are you attempting to take advantage of my single status? She's already recovered. What the hell? <laughs> Even catches view of me as his face flush. No, crap, I'm not. Definitely not. Oh, <laughs> cute. What's that? She turns a side of me. I push off the wall and hold up. Open arm. Open palms. I came back to school to apologize. Even this helping. Alice apprised me silently. Even interjects. I'm sorry. <laughs> Why would you apologize? She glanced at him with a anonymity. Um, I'm sorry. I'm so. I also apologize. I'm sorry. <laughs> Acknowledgement. Then adjust her glasses. At least, I lost my temper, and I shouldn't have done that. I should never have hit you. I won't press charges. Don't worry. No. It's not. You have nothing anyway. Is that all? Damn, cold. That's really cold, Alice. I overreact, and I I was really worried. And I get it. Are we done? Damn, that's kind of. Rude, Alice. No, you don't. If you want the president role, you can have it. No, you don't understand at all. So help me, damn it. I'm apologizing. Yes, and I do not accept your apology. I don't owe you any satisfaction. Oh, I'm sorry even to bring you to this situation. <laughs> the mere fact you are so desperate to apologize and with major con concession hours after the, the incident is proof that the severity of your action. So sit with that, I know that I will not offer your peace of mind. Alice, it's... and you! While she opens the gym door to leave, she holds square with Evan. Okay, that's... that's rude. Evan has nothing to do with this. You're proud. You should learn to do things for yourself, or selfish people like him will always take advantage of you. Okay, that's really rude. Don't bully Evan like that. Okay, I take that back. You can insult me, but you you, you don't dare to insult Evan. Triple dot. What's her deal anyway? Ivan rubs his bicep slowly while looking at the linoleum between us. Sorry, I need to go to class. He leaves me alone in the gym. Oh, I don't know how to feel anymore.
I'm debating whether I want something to eat today. Given I lost my appetite, you should eat to recover bed, uh, to recover faster, man. Yeah, way to go. I should probably eat at least something. With the bus, my cell phone alerts me to another message from Mr. Underwood. Since you have been chosen by president today, to be president to- Oh, I'm sorry. Since you have chosen to be present today, please meet me in my office after lunch. I don't want to respond. I don't want to go. Holly gently sits at my table, concert evident in her body language. Meow. Are you okay? I'm sorry for what happened. No, no, it was my idea, and I'm sorry for freaking you out. Alice didn't want to do it, but I talked her into it. But yeah, I'm okay. She leads in to inspect me. You don't look okay. Does your eye hurt? I touch my face around my eye and realize it's sore. I hadn't noticed my any swelling until now. Do I have a black eye? She hesitates and sex shakes her head. I mean, uh, would you look at the mirror? I mean, you can look at the mirror in, in the car. It, um, it doesn't look that bad. It's just a little dark. Why did you come back? My appetite for learning? I haven't actually been in any classes yet, though, but I'm stuck without books anyway. Oh, shady. Holy perks up. I got mine. Hey, mister. You're not getting any food today. I put a hand on the table. It's cool and smooth on my palm. I ate it at doctor's office. Why did you lie? Oh, well, uh... So, what happened this morning exactly? Those big eyes offers water. I played a really bad joke that hurt my friend. You, Alice, Kane. It's difficult for me to empathize with Kane. I don't remember what happened after he hit me. Mr. Chin was really upset and <laughs> okay, that sounds like that. I don't know why, but it sounds like Mr. Chin. He said, "Break it up! You kids are damaging school property." <laughs> I chuckle at her impressions and its contents. Sounds right. I don't know. It's really good. Even though uh, I never see Mr. Jin, but I can I can feel that he'll, he'll gonna say that with that attitude. And uh, there's not much much else. Look, if you really feel bad, make it up to us. Huh? Crying work won't help anymore. Go with me and Alice to Mr. Underwood. Explain what happened. You are such a bad head. Well, I could use the support, and she doesn't seem to be in pos a position to refuse. Fine, I'll go too. 
Great. We're going right after lunch. She smells here and getting to me. Oh, sorry. The smells here are uh, are getting to me. So I'm ready to leave now. But I'll wait for her to finish. My stomach scrambles and I pull my hand from the table. Before Holly can comment, I hold my phone between us. Hey, you indirectly give me your number, right? Is it okay that I save it? Oh, she's blushing. <laughs> of course, text me anytime. Well, at least uh, my relationship with Holly is still it's fine now. I add her to my contacts. Will do. Holly starts to follow up, but notice my impatience and instead finish her meal. I engage with my phone in, in the meantime. Oh, there's another choice. Okay, I think this is gonna kinda important, so I'll gonna save. Okay, PRB. So, for the choice is to text Rosaline or text Ivan. Why would I text Rosaline anyway? I don't know the purpose line want to text her. Because all we did uh, just managing the art supplies and that's it. She doesn't have anything to do with the uh, with this even right now. So I don't know why he wants to text Rosaline. And even we, we kind of bring him into this situation anyway. And I kind of feel bad for him. After, also after Alice uh, saying mean, meaning, uh, mean like rude words to him. <laughs> so I'll just text Ivan. You coming to lunch? Running late again. I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking too much. Like, I, I just have a suspicion about anyone when they're doing something unusual. You know, like what if Ivan running late again because he's doing something criminal behind my back? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm just overthinking it. I'm sorry for pulling you into things. We good? We're good. Thank you, Ivan. Still on for the weekend? Oh. What are you looking at? Am I s um, is my smiling visible? Uh, Holly? Yeah, if you have time. I'll be there. Oh, <laughs> Holly snatched my phone from me. Mister, it's rude to be on your phone in the presence of the divine. I'm sorry, Aqua Sama. It's rude to it's rude to take something that's not yours. Hand it over. Oh, cute. Smug pale face. I hand out my hand, palm up. She wings and sticks out her tongue. Fine, I, I'm done anyway. After st standing, she, uh, her soft finger brush mine while she folds my hands close over the cell phone. She secured. Let's go do this. I stand and sigh with a sigh and begin lending her, leading her to the administration halls.
Okay, uh, I think I've been playing too much, uh, too long for too long now. I, and I guess I'll gonna end this episode. I kinda thinking like uh, I want to make the make it into two parts. I mean like I finish it today, but I think it's longer than I expected. So uh, I'm I guess I'm gonna end this here. Thank you very much for watching this video. The the things escalated really quickly. Uh, it's been so intense, and I believe it's just the beginning. That the maybe the the things will get darker. I don't know. And I hope that there is actually mystery in it. So, uh, guess yeah, I'm really enjoying this, uh, this game, this novel. It's really a wild ride. <laughs> so, uh, if you like this video, consider to subscribe and like this video. Help support this channel, I guess. <laughs> and also, uh, there's still a time to support this game. Go to the Kickstarter, I'll link in the description as well. Help support the game to uh, so it can be fully full, full re released. And also you can check the demo if you the demo if you want. I'll also link that in the, in the description. So uh Yeah, I see you guys later. I'm gonna go sleep now and uh so I can go wake up early and go to karaoke with Coach, yeah. I don't know, maybe with uh, Maybe with Asa as well I don't know if she will come out or not But yeah, I'm gonna go sleep now Have a lucky day